Welcome to the Hoppy Hippy Homebrew channel. What we're going to talk about in this video is hydrometers. And back to the theme where for the complete newbie who hasn't made a brew before. Uh, the hydrometer is a very critical piece of equipment that you should learn how to read and use properly. <clears throat> so, looking at this screen here on the right, this is obviously a wine that this, this guy's made here. And what you should do is when you're going to test your, your hydrometer and your thickness, the sweetness of your liquid, it has to be 20 degrees for uh, the proper reading. So if it's just not hot enough or it's too hot, you cool it down or heat it up under the tap to 20 degrees. And we see this reading here goes from low at the bottom up to high and that reads 1.092 1 1.09 and there's a 2 there, see there you get 2, 4, 6, 8 10, well that's 2, 1.092, and if that's the start of your, if that's how sweet you want it, it's a saccharometer at this point, this, this, this is called. During fermentation, as the yeast uses up the sugars, and converts them to alcohol, the hydrometer will sink into it, as it uses, the sugars get used up more and more and more. And then when you test it, when you think that fermentation stopped, you'll have the same low reading, like two or three days in a row, it doesn't get any lower, which will go in to this one here. Now you'll see this one's fermented down and 1.000 is the consistency of water, right? Wine will go below that, because there ends up more alcohol in it than water. But for a beer or a cider, will get, probably a cider goes down to a thousand, but for a beer it will not get any lower than about 1.002, 1.004, as that's 1.002 or 4. And if it's like that two or three days in a row, that means your fermentation is complete and it's ready to bottle. But the same rule goes again when you're testing it after the fermentation is over it must be 20 degrees to get the the appropriate uh, temperature correction value of the exact strength it's going to be and then what you do is you get you've, you've obviously kept a record from the start so you've got a record of what your your starting gravity was specific or original gravity was you minus what uh, the final gravity is from the original gravity and divide it by 7.42 or 7.36 roughly like that that gets you your uh, that gets you your strength and a handy tool that I use just to confirm what it is is this here brewersfriend.com and you do it with your specific gravity okay so so beer is usually about as I says 40 to 50 depend how strong you want it 1.04 1.042 is about five percent so say we'll go for that 1.0 40, right, we'll go for 40. The final gravity says 0, 02, alright? And then obviously it's going to be 5%, okay? That's that's the strength of your beer is going to be. Now this is a handy little tool here because it gives you your attenuation of the fermentation, what, what, what it's attenuated down. Calories also per pint and the, the and that just confirms that it was your original gravity and your starting gravity. So a very handy tool 
that is you must use a hydrometer and you'll not go wrong so that was it just a quick video quick explanation on a hydrometer for the newbies and uh, i hope you find it useful and if you do make a brew I've got message today somebody's actually going to the home brew shop today and picking up their gear for the, the first brew they've made in many years so there you go i'm hoping to i'm looking forward to hearing the results of of that brew anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll uh, catch you later on with the next next uh, hobby hippie home brew video catch you